The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Morning Markets Kickoff with your host, Tommy O'Brien. Now, Tommy O'Brien. Good morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN Tuesday morning, 8.30 a.m. Hope everyone had a great Memorial Day weekend. We start things off in positive territory. Indices approaching 2% in the green. To start things off, we got the Dow up 498 points at 24,922. S&P futures above 3,000, up 55 points or 1.8%, trading at 3,008. NASDAQ futures up 150 points, trading at 95.56. NASDAQ approaching all-time highs right now. Maybe we'll get that today within about almost 2% of that number right now. Crude oil up 90 cents at 34.14. We got the 10-year yield, 0.695%. And the gold contract this morning off about $8 at 17.27. But silver up 22 cents, 17.91. We'll start things off. We'll start it off with the chart of the S&P. There's your action. 3,015 being the highs. We're currently trading at 3,009 for a little context over the last five days. There's your acceleration from early Friday at 2,900. We're up about 100 S&P points just from where we are, were on early Friday trading. You back things up for some context in terms of the crawl back. All-time highs, 33.97. You see where we're at now, above where we've been any time dating back to basically March 6th, let alone we were at these price levels about February 27th on that first downdraft, right to 3,000 in the S&Ps. Dow Jones approaching 25,000, 29,543. You see the Fibonacci numbers on there, 25,166, that's the 618. And talk about remarkable, there's your NASDAQ 100. Climbing towards the top within about 200 points. That's about, we're talking about 2%, 97.63. We're trading at 95.54. Let's jump over to some of the other charts. We'll jump over to the Euro US dollar as the Euro climbs higher this morning so far, almost reaching 110, pulling back a bit to 109.64. There's your gold contract, was as low as about 17.20 at about 6 a.m. We've caught a little bit of a bid up $8 now, trading at 17.28. That's up $8 off the low. And crude oil. There's some volatility. Crude makes it overnight to 34.50. We were back under 34. Just in the last about, this is a five minute chart. Five minute chart. Check out that pop from 34 to 34, 34 now in the price of crude. Checking in on the VIX this morning as the market climbs higher. Check out that VIX 2782. We hit 2761. You back it up to even early Friday. We were at 3155 as things looked bleak. The market in negative territory, but Friday ends much better than it started off. And right now, 2783 in that volatility index. Even the Dow futures now up 518 points. You see the acceleration there from where we were on Friday. You're talking about approaching 800, 900 plus Dow points. We were at a low of 24,101. We almost hit 25,000. Big numbers continuing in the indices. Jumping back to stocks making big moves today, we'll go down the line. And uh, before we do, I mean, this is the headline, right? Dow futures jump 500 points as investors bet on the economy reopening and a vaccine breakthrough. So I opened my phone this morning. I'm up about five in the morning. I said, oh, what's, what's going on? Markets are up 2%. They were up 1% yesterday. So things were already looking good, but they added a full percent. So is there, is there big news? Not really any big news, folks. You know, I mean, there's, there's, um, you know, American biotech company Novavax said Monday it started its first human study of an experimental coronavirus vaccine. The company said it expects initial results late July. Um, we're talking about two months from right now. Now we just got results from the Moderna study of humans. So we're going to take two months to find out the first reports of human studies on the Novavax study. Listen, it's great. You just got to check your expectations, I think, is the deal. I mean, markets are up 2%. The Nasdaq's approaching all-time highs. The Dow's at 25,000. And what is driving that? Well, things seem to be well, but the economy's opening back up right now. And uh, 
you know, you have things like this, but you also have stories in what terms of what they're doing in China. Why not? We'll jump over to this one. Wuhan tests millions in 12 days as China fears second virus wave. Hope everyone had a great Memorial Day weekend out there. Hope you practice some social distancing if possible. I'm sure we all saw the headlines of a few certain places, whether it was in the Ozarks, whether it was in a certain other spots where just uh, huge, huge parties going on, not really social distancing. In light of what China is doing, they get a few cases. China locks down 100 million people, tests about, and this is 6.68 million people they tested in 12 days, basically testing everybody, find everybody that might be sick. They got 206 asymptomatic patients. Uh, China doing their best to make sure that a second wave does not come. The market marching toward all time highs. It's very possible, folks. It doesn't mean we have to shut down the economy. Things can remain open, but if you do see a spike, and this is all, this is not political, this is about the market. If you see a spike, even if the country doesn't shut down, all right, hopefully our medical uh, facilities, hopefully we're prepared with PPE, personal protective equipment for, you know, first responders out there, healthcare professionals. Um, but you just may see people not being as active. So keep that in mind as this market marches forward. Technology, yeah, I mean, technology is going nowhere, folks. And the NASDAQ is saying it. We'll jump to some of the tech stocks as we. Talk about the NASDAQ. Amazon up a bit this morning, 24.54. Jump to Microsoft. Microsoft closed out last week. I mean, check out these, these, uh, these volatile numbers, folks. We closed at 83.51. Microsoft was as high as print in 187.60, 185.60. Google, now Google had some tough news last week talking about antitrust. It's coming, it's coming down the line. Google, though, looks to open right now, about $25 in the positive. Netflix shares down a bit. Ah, even up a bit, I guess, up about $2. And how about the king of headlines, Tesla himself, Elon Musk, up a bit at 833.05. So jumping back, I started to, stocks making moves. It tied right with the drug makers, which is why I jumped back to the story. Merck announced the acquisition of a private health themis whose COVID-19 vaccine candidate is approaching human trials. I mean, this is what happens, right? You got biotech companies, you have bigger companies, Scooping them up, striking a vaccine partnership with nonprofit vaccine research, IAVI, a lot of vaccine news. There's your Novavax. Now, these stocks, yeah, that's great news. All right, but keep everything in expectations in check. We're up about $6 at $52.94. Hopefully, they succeed. If they do succeed, though, you're still talking about six months, 12 months. And then what's going to happen? Is everybody going to take it? There's a lot of press out there for people that, um, and, you know, what is right? I'm not the judge of that in terms of it forcing a vaccine on somebody, right? Very, very controversial to say the least. So just to, uh, to for the market to trade up 2% on Tuesday morning after Memorial Day weekend, NASDAQ approaching all time highs, we're many, many months out, if not a year plus you out from a vaccine. And then um, how does that get administered? This is not China where we just locked down 100 million people. And uh, that is that, not it at all. Well, all right, as we come into the break, AutoZone, AutoZone, quite a company recently. The retailer reported quarterly earnings, $14.39 a share. They were looking for $13.80. Revenue beat forecast. Same store sales fell just 1% compared to 6.3% decline expected. Was everybody at home fixing up their cars, keeping them nice and clean? Uh, is that AutoZone? Yeah, so no real reaction right now on that. It looks, what do we bid ask? Bid ask 1124. Yeah, so we haven't gotten a print yet. It's trading higher, 1128 by 1174. Stay tuned, folks. Come back, see what else we have on tap for Tuesday trading after the long weekend. We'll be. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. 
The gold market has taken off topside in a large way in 2020. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The Gold Report took profits in four of its equities in the gold portfolio in the first week of January for a combined profit of 99.2%, with two positions left in the portfolio that have a profit of 67.5% as of January 7th. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. Even since I came on the air about 12 minutes ago, we're getting a little bit of a pop in the markets. Put the S&P on a five-minute chart. We were at about 3,004. I mean, check that out, 805, right? You're coming into line at 815. Even during the 830 bar, we were down to the low about 3,007. We're up about five points. The overnight high, 3,015. You now got the Dow futures up 561. Jumping around to some other stocks with earnings or action this morning. Hib Sports. They're up this morning on their earnings. We'll get into the numbers in a moment. We're at 1949. We're trading at about 2150 right now. So they came out with their numbers, 31 cents a share, beating the consensus estimate of 19 cents a share, revenue topping four forecast, comp source, excuse me, comp store sales tumbling 19.5%, but they were looking for a 34% drop. Not bad, right? Um, E-commerce sales more than doubled during the quarter compared to a year earlier. You're really seeing winners and losers here. Some companies, if you were poised, if you were ready, if you thought uh, the mark, the, the, if you had the ability to service everybody online, meet the supply, have the supply meet demand, uh, you were just able to capitalize on greatly uh, in a dramatic way. Hertz, not in the position. They filed for a Chapter 11 bankruptcy. I was checking out this earlier. A large portion of Hertz's revenue comes from car rentals at airports, which have all been evaporated as potential customers eschew plane travel plans. And uh, Hertz, HTZ, I believe. Yeah, there's that drop from even 280. This is where, you know, you want to fall, catch a falling knife fall. Uh, we were at before this twenty dollars and eighty five cents, but for some context, you were just at a hundred. Hertz was already in big, big trouble. It went to twenty. You had people buying this. I mean, look at the volume. This is in millions of shares. Four hundred plus million shares traded in the month of April. You put this on a shorter term time frame now to go back this year, just for the drop off. You see the real volume day, almost 100 million shares traded on April 29th. I'm trying to provide some context because there are a lot of people that bought this stock at $3.50, the low of that day, anybody. And we're going to open at $1.80 for Hertz as they are going BK. Uh, how do you compete with the likes of Uber and Lyft, let alone when your business is centered around airports that are going to be struggling for a very long time? Uber, on the other hand, talk about 
a V-shaped recovery. We were at about $40 before the fall off. We made it to $13.71. We're going to open even higher today. There's your action on Uber from about $34.50. Looking like we're up a dollar solid to $35.80 by $35.85. Lift as well. Getting a pop. I mean, markets are up 2%, so a lot of things trading dramatically higher from 31.26 up about a dollar to 32.21. Some of the cannabis stocks trading higher. There's Canopy, 19.42 up almost a dollar to 20.43. Chrono shares from 6.60 to 6.86. Aurora, Aurora's gotten a lot of action last week. Be wary of some of these smaller ones. Aurora had a lot of problems, as you can see from this chart. Uh, back it up even more from 150 down to five, now up to 16. Be wary. Uh, let's just put up canopy in that. I mean, all of them, right? But quite a pop. This is a weekly, quite a pop. Check out that last weekly bar on canopy, one of the biggest out here. Kronos, quite a big pop as well. As we mentioned, ACB, there's their pop. And uh, how about Tilray? All of these, just remarkable charts. Tilray, maybe the most remarkable of them all. 300 to $2.43 on Tilray. Jumping back to other stories, other stocks with action this morning. Ah, we'll jump to, there we go. Everything you need to know about SpaceX's historic demo to launch. So that's going to happen tomorrow. Uh, new generation, new era in space flight, historic importance of demo two. So you have SpaceX set for its most important milestone yet in a launch that may well define the future of U.S. space program. Elon Musk's company plans to launch a pair of NASA astronauts on Wednesday. First crewed mission in SpaceX history. Always a lot of pressure when you're dealing with human life. Something like this. I'm sure there's a lot of danger up there. The mission is called Demo 2, as technically it's the final test flight in the company's spacecraft. But regardless of the nature of the mission, first launch of NASA astronauts in the U.S., since 2011, I remember when they had the last one going off here in uh, over in uh, Port Canaveral, and uh, I wasn't able to check it out. I tried to get over there. I knew it was going to be a while. We're almost 10 years out. Remarkable. Jumping back to Tesla in light of Elon. Talk about some volatility on the longer term prime time frame. You had the run up to 968 before COVID. You drop all the way back down to 350, and this morning we're going to open at 830. Tesla trading higher with the market at 832 right now. Okay, other stocks with action, a lot of biotech news. Gilead's drug Remdesivir is effective at helping COVID-19 patients recover more quickly, according to a peer-reviewed data published in the New England Journal of Medicine. Molson Coors, they're furloughing. furloughing. An unspecified number of employees. Let's get into their, sh their symbol tap. So, yeah, they're going to trade higher. I just want some context where we've been. So talk about a fall off from 62 to 34. Again, another fall off on their earnings on April 29th. This is a daily chart we're looking at. Uh, Constellation Brands also. They make Corona beer, right? They got really dragged down from 200 to 100. We're now back to 175. Also has a huge stake in Canopy as well, which has rebounded. But I think the market kind of figured out that people were not wary of Corona beer. If anything, uh, people making fun, light, uh, whatever you want to call it, with Corona beer during this time. Constellation back to 172. Crocs. How about Crocs? Somehow in this day and age, with whatever we got going on, people want some Crocs. The maker of plastic foam shoes saw sales jump 14% in March compared to a year earlier. Uh, according to data cited by the journal, it was the it was only one of the top 30 footwear brands tracked by MPD to show a sales increase during the month. So Crocs somehow with home confinement going on. We go from, I mean, 40 down to 8. But guess what? Look at this pop. We're, we're from 26.50 up to 29 as they see they're spiking in March. Go get your Crocs, people. Regeneron, biotech, buying back about $5 billion of its shares from drug maker Sanofi. Sanofi currently owns about 23.2 million shares of Regeneron, and they're going to continue and own it. So they've had a partnership out there. Separately, Regeneron upgraded to overweight from equal weight. Take two, they got an upgrade as well. The video game maker, TT, they have a TTW, it's TTWO though. TTWO trading up a bit from 140.50. You see their earnings last week as well. Talk about some volatility. And William Sonoma, they get an upgrade to outperform from market perform. Any type of house, home, whatever it is, right? WSM is their symbol. 
And we're going to open higher at about 68.57. Some of these stocks, I mean, homeware, the, the, just a remarkable opportunity that, you know, to people are spending a lot more time at home. You spend a lot more money maybe on making sure that your home is comfortable. From 77 to 26, we're going to open back at 69.50 on Williams-Sonoma. Uh, Lowe's, similar action, these stocks. Lowe's, you're going to open at 124.50. The high was 126.73 before the fall off. Home Depot shares, we're going to open at 247 about. Uh, we were at 248.32 just uh, last week, I believe that is, May 18th. So a little bit more than a week on Home Depot. Even the likes of Restoration Hardware, you go from 256 down to 73. We're going to open at between 205 and 208 on that stock. Remarkable. And as we continue, market chugs higher. S&P is positive by 60. Stay tuned, folks. We'll be right back. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stock Stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powerful by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. If you head out over to the front page of TFNN, Basil Chapman, two days from right now, a short week. He's going to be in there Thursday afternoon, right after Tom's program for 90 minutes with subscribers to the opening call. Review of Basil's favorite technical tools that have produced strong gains in 2020. He's going to be over, uh, going over. 
his favorite technical tools that he's using this year that have produced solid gains so far for subscribers to his daily trading service, The Opening Call. In this 90-minute live webinar, Basil will allow subscribers to look over his shoulder. So he's going to be looking at how he used time and price relationships. The cup and V-shaped pattern worked on the way up. The inverse should work in a market consolidation. Selectivity will become key unless leadership broadens. The sectors that have been under the radar, how the longer-term outlook is evolving. 90 minutes, check it out on the front page. The opening call, Basil putting out daily updates every single morning along with the weekends as well. And uh, Tom's got a new issue with the Gold Report out there this morning as well. The Gold Report has been rocking. Uh, if you want some exposure to gold equities in there, check out the Gold Report as well. As we wrap up the program, earnings season in full swing as we get into this week. Tomorrow, we get Ralph Lauren, some of the numbers. We get Toll Brothers as well tomorrow. Thursday, a big day. We get Dollar General, Costco, Alta. Also on Thursday, we also get what's, yes, yeah, Salesforce, I want to get into, Dollar Tree in there as well. VMware on Thursday and Friday, we talked about it. We get Canopy Growth on Friday, earnings season continuing. Checking back in on the markets, and we're trading higher, folks. We're within one S&P point. Of those highs we had more than three, almost four hours ago at 5.15, markets charged up and ready to go for Tuesday trading after that Memorial Day weekend. Stay tuned, folks. We're going to have Larry Pezzavento coming up live with Trade What You See from 9 till 10. I'll be back at 10 o'clock with Tom. Fast Market at 11, our man Basil Chapman at noon. Check out on the front page of TFNN.com. If you have not tried the opening call by Basil yet, folks, it's a great trader. This swing trading, a series of higher highs, lower lows, peaks, great for this type of volatility. Check it out on the front page of TFNN.com. Stay tuned, folks. Live trading, live programming, I should say, all day at TFNN. We'll be right back.